Thank you. Hi, I'm Phil Lemper with the new product Hits and Misses for the week of September 21st, 2009. Now, the scores this week add up to an amazing 433. Stay tuned to see which product scored big and which one did not. Gourmet dining skillet meal garlic chicken. Well, skillet meals have become all the rage. Just look at this picture. It looks so pretty. And when the product cooked, it actually looked very close to this. The product cooked in three steps, in a skillet or two steps in a microwave. I chose to try it in the microwave. Now, while there was an aroma of garlic while cooking, I couldn't taste any. What I did taste was salt. I also found the chicken, which is not chicken breast, but chopped and formed. It's made up of chicken, water, modified tapioca starch, salt, and sodium phosphate. And it was chewy. The big benefit is that 32 ounces of pasta, vegetables, chicken, and sauce is only about five bucks. Retails for about five bucks. Total score is 83. Kashi thin crust roasted vegetable pizza is a hit. Now, for the best pizza in the world, head to Star Tavern in Orange, New Jersey. Now, if that's too far away, head to the frozen food case of your local supermarket. You're going to see no less than 20 different brands of frozen pizza. One of the newest and the tastiest is right here. Thin crust roasted vegetable pizza from Kashi. The crust is not as crispy as I would like, which is probably due to the fact that it's healthy. It's made from seven whole grains, sesame, and flaxseed. What is extraordinary about this pizza? The texture and the taste of all these vegetables. The sauce and the cheeses are in perfect balance, doesn't overpower the other ingredients. And speaking of cheeses, they use both mozzarella and provolone. Retails for $5.99, total score is 91. Chiquita Smoothies Banana Colada. I just love saying that, banana colada. It's a hit. Now, I remember when my parents used to buy frozen concentrated orange juice in a package very similar to this one. Why did we ever get away from buying frozen concentrates anyway? They're less expensive, lighter to carry, and have a smaller global footprint. And all they do in the factory is add water, charge it for us, and put it in those cartons. Well, Chiquita has introduced smoothies, in this case, banana colada. You need a blender, half a can of cold water, and two cans of ice cubes, and a spoon to get the contents out of the can, or just let it sit for a couple minutes. The flavor and texture are fabulous. This dairy-free and gluten-free, and there's no question that adding a little rum probably make you the best bartender on the block. An eight-ounce glass contains just 125 calories. That's just the smoothie. doesn't include the rum, and it's very filling. Now, remember, it's also loaded with natural sugars from the fruit, the banana, pineapple, and grape juice, and the coconut. In fact, 24 grams, but it's worth it. Retails for $3.99. Total score is 90 Sonoma Crisp Apple Sticks. Now, they look like French fries. Here, see? They're crunchy, slow-baked apples, but they're expensive. Less than an ounce, about 60 pieces, will cost you a little over $2. It's a nice alternative to other snacks, but to be honest with you, I'm not sure that I would make them part of my regular snacking routine. Okay taste, but too expensive. Retails for $220. Total score is $79. Mr. Cucumber. Get it? Cucumber. It's a hit. Forget those mainline women with their little cucumber sandwiches over tea. Just drink it. Now, how goofy is this? I love this name, Mr. Cucumber. It's actually a sparkling cucumber beverage. It smells like cucumbers. It tastes like cucumbers. It's all natural and uses cane sugar instead of high fructose corn syrup. Sure, the summer's over, but now you can enjoy cucumbers in a bottle. Seven ounces will set you back 90 calories, but it's great. Retails for $1.09. Total score is 90. Now, don't forget, join me on ABC News Now at 10 a.m. Eastern on Thursday, where we'll continue the discussion. For the complete detail and product information on today's products, just log on to supermarketguru.com. Thanks for watching.